Hello guys, welcome to the channel. Today in this video, I will quickly show you how you can install Linux Mint alongside with Windows 10. For example, if you like to use Linux for more privacy and more safety, but you find that there are some programs that are missing on Linux and you need to use them anyway. In this case, you can install Linux Mint alongside with other operating systems such as Windows 10 or it could be any other operating system. This is going to be a quick installation guide, so we're going to start from the installation process. If you need to know how to download the ISO, how to flash it onto the USB drive, then I'll put a link in the description and I'll put a link in the upper right corner. You can follow through that link and then you can find out how to do all these steps. We're going to go to the installation step to skip all these other steps because it will be a much longer video. All right, let's get started. And before we start, if you're new to the channel, please take a second to subscribe. Click the notification bell so you don't miss new coming up videos. And if you find this video helpful and you like it, please support it with a like. I appreciate it very much. Okay, let's get started. So plug in the USB stick in the laptop. Then go ahead and turn on the laptop. I recommend using the USB 2.0 because sometimes USB 3.0 may not work properly if there are missing drivers. USB 2.0 seems to be working better. Then in the start menu, just choose start Linux Mint. As you can see, there are a few different options you can choose from. We're going to choose start Linux Mint and it's going to start Linux Mint from the USB stick. So we can install it permanently on the computer. All right. So once Linux Mint has started, just go ahead and click on install Linux Mint in the upper left corner here. It's going to bring a dialog box where we can choose language. You can choose the language that you like. I'm going to choose English and then press continue. Then you can also choose the keyboard layout that you like. I'm also going to stick with English and press continue. After that, it's going to ask you if you want to connect to the internet. I would recommend to connect to the internet right away because it will install additional software and additional drivers so you don't have to do it later. If you don't have the internet connection, you can skip that step. You can choose I don't want to connect to the Wi-Fi network right now, but if you have a Wi-Fi, I would recommend you connect to it right now because then you can use internet connection to download additional software and additional drivers. After the connection has been established, go ahead and press continue. And then on the next step, you need to highlight this box, install multimedia codecs and press continue. On the next step, we need to choose the installation type. Since we're going to be installing Linux Mint alongside with Windows 10, you can choose either the first option, install Linux Mint alongside with Windows 10, then it will do everything automatically. But if you want to create a separate partition for Linux Mint and install it on a different drive, then you need to choose something else. This will allow us to choose a special partition for Linux Mint. As you can see, I have already created a new partition for Linux Mint. It's going to be a 100 gigabyte partition. You need to prepare this partition for Linux Mint. Then it will be located on completely different disk than Windows. And it's not going to be on the same disk. So go ahead and highlight this partition and then click change. Use as should be set to ext journal file system. The mounting point should be the forward slash. Then click OK. After that, all the preparations are done. You can also check the format box and then press install now. It's going to tell you that this partition will be formatted and you will lose all the information on this partition. So make sure there is no important information saved on this partition. Otherwise, you will lose that information permanently. So if you haven't checked that yet, don't click continue. So if you're sure there is no important data on that partition, go ahead and press continue. Then you need to choose the time zone, press continue. Then you need to set up your username. I'm just going to put Pulsar Tech and you need to choose your password. You can also choose to log in automatically so it doesn't ask you for your password every time you turn on your computer or you can set to require my password to log in. I do recommend using the password to log in because you never know who might use your computer. And you can also choose encrypt my home folder. This will give you extra layer of security in case somebody gets access to your computer the folder will be encrypted. It will also require a password to get to the home folder content. So this gives you another layer of security. After that, press continue. It's going to start installing different files. This might take about 10 minutes depending on your computer, but I'm just going to fast forward it and show you how it works. So after the installation has finished, just go ahead and press restart now. Then it will tell you to remove the installation medium and press enter. So go ahead and pull out the USB stick and press enter. 
it's going to restart your computer and then we can check out linux mint all right there we go linux mint has started and it starts with a welcome screen which gives you a lot of different settings for your linux mint so you can set it up the way you like it we're not going to do a complete review of this window and all the settings that you get and that you can change in linux mint you can check it in my other video i'm planning to make another video pretty soon so stay tuned subscribe to the channels for more interesting videos about linux mint i'm planning to have a lot of good content for linux on my channel so make sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss new videos also if you find this video helpful please give it a like if you have questions or comments please leave them down in the comment section below and if you have suggestions on what next linux video you want me to make also leave a comment down below in the comment section and i will try to make that video as soon as i can all right, this is it for now. I hope you guys enjoy your day. Thank you very much for watching. See you soon. Bye-bye.